Hi and uh, welcome to my new assembly language series where I will be teaching you everything you need to know about assembly programming. Um, also in this series I will be focusing on uh, teaching you computer basics like how the processor works, all the architectures, things like that because I think that ASM is a great way to introduce this concept. Now what is assembly and why would you might want to learn it? Well, to begin, assembly languages are a family of programming language. There's more than one assembly language for every processor architecture. And the reason for that is because assembly is what we call a low level programming language. That's what we can classify as that. And what it means, it's because assembly, the way you write it is extremely close to how the CPU actually works. The instructions are uh, as close to the processor as it can be. Now, there's one assembly language for every architecture. For example, you might have heard of 32 bits or 64 bits. Well, that's pretty much what an architecture is. And actually, the real thing that makes difference is the um, instruction set. The instruction set, as the name uh, says it's really a bundle of instruction uh, that are defined in certain processors for example my Intel processor use an uh, an instruction set called x8664 don't worry about the name but you should also have this architecture in your this instruction set in your processor and if you are don't be worried to learn assembly language you'll only need to focus on at least one and in this series i will be focusing on this architecture i just just uh, name which is the x8664 because it's an arch architecture that we have everywhere in our computers nowadays now if you want to program on other certain architecture it's possible that you won't be able to but don't worry if you have an intel processor or an amd processor as long as it's uh, uh running on this architecture you should be all right now why would you want to learn assembly that depends on you uh, one first reason people learn assembly is for uh, cyber security because there's a domain called reverse engineering in that branch which is the for example malwares for example malwares need to be an analyzed uh, to understand how they work and what vulnerabilities they exploit and a lot of things or even uh, just understanding vulnerabilities in programs well we do this process where we take a program that was compiled a binary file and do what we call disassembling making it readable to the human and why we don't just decompile it to C++ it's because it's harder to do it because ASM is so low level it's extremely easy to take a binary data and translated to the assembly instructions where us human can read another reason you might want to learn it is as i said at the beginning it might be just to learn how your computer works i think assembly is a, an extremely good introduction to computer science because you will need to learn how your components work in your computer to have a good understanding of what you're doing and you learned a lot of concept. Personally, it helped me a lot. And the last reason, it might just be because you are just curi curious or for school projects, it, do it really doesn't matter. This series is really for anyone who wants to learn ASM. Now, I hope you will like this series and I'll see you in the next lectures.